Welcome to another WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 How To. Today we're going to show you how to move from R2 Essentials to Standard. Many of you wanted to use your proven, reliable, and affordable solution, but just in using the Windows Server Standard Edition. Again, we got a lot of new videos coming through. Just type on YouTube WD Sentinel S Series and take a look at our new videos and webinars. We've been getting a lot of questions of can I transition up from Windows Server 2012 R2 Essentials to Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard? The answer is, of course is yes. And the reason we've been getting this question is we're finding that some of our customers have standard site license and also want to use the DS5100 or DS6100 in an environment where it's just an application server and storage server not necessarily acting as a primary domain. As a word of warning, this is an advanced session. You should be familiar with the terminology shown here, and you also should know why you're going to a standard license. Uh, obviously, uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 standard serves a different role than Essentials. Today, I'm just deploying as a workgroup server. Let's take a look at steps to transition up from R2 Essentials to standard. First, obtain a valid Windows Server 2012 R2 standard license key. Next, we're going to demo steps two through four. I strongly recommend making sure that you have a technical article about transitioning the server from 2012 Essentials to standard up while you're doing this process. Of course, you get to learn that how many changes you have for the user and device limits. You should also go through the steps to make sure you have your data and, and server backed up before going on to actually doing the, the transition. In the desktop of our DS6100, what I'm going to do is going to launch PowerShell as an administrator. What I'm going to do here is reposition the uh, web window, web information window, with the remote desktop session so I can type in the key. And I'm going to cover up my key, obviously. <laughs> you don't want to use my uh, license key. When you hit enter, it'll go about doing the what we call transmog. This should take about five to seven minutes and the server will reboot. We're going to speed up the playback just so we can get uh, through the screens, uh, the following screens. Uh, we remote desktop back into our DS6100 and uh, we launch server manager and the first thing we're going to do is going to, we're going to click on add roles and features and we're actually going to toggle it to remove roles and features. The first one we're going to remove is the Active Directory. So it's a two-step process. You have to uncheck Certificate Authority Web Enrollment and go through the entire uninstall process before we move on to removing the Certificate Authority. Now I've made all the mistakes in this process so I want to let you know if you do not go in this order. The server is, is smart enough to tell you that you need to do the enrollment first and then the authority second. Again, I'm showing the uninstall process about two times the normal speed. This whole, this whole process should take about uh, four to eight minutes. Once we close that, we're actually able to go back again to add roles and features. Again, toggling it to remove and then remove the uh, full Active Directory uh, certificate services. And with the second round, you should expect the server to reboot and uh, uh, you'll have to log back in. Next we're going to demote our server from being the primary domain controller and this is done by again doing the add roles and features and toggling on the remove roles and features and we're going to select the active directory domain services. By doing that this will trigger a, a wizard that will ask you to do a, a full demotion and uh, as you can see here I'm selecting all the the steps that will actually uh, take away our, our Active Directory and domain rights. After the reboot, you're now at Windows Server 2012 R2 standard running with Essentials role. This means you get to do all the things you want to do in standard as well uh, have the features that Essentials provides. You'll need to log in using a local administrator account. You can also recreate a more friendly name using the um, dashboard from Essentials. The last thing I want to show is that the server is running in workgroup mode. We'll cover how to join a domain with Essentials role uh, turned on in a later module. It's a little more advanced than even this one. So I want to share with you uh, a picture of my test step. On the left I have a DS5100 serving as my primary first server and on the right I have taken the DS6100 
and uh, turned it into a standard server and essentials role. It is now in work group mode, ready to take on beefier applications and uh, uh, add additional storage to the network. Here are some resources to help you get through step two, step three, and step four. Their official TechNet articles from Microsoft. Join us next time for an exciting episode of WD Sentinel S series how to training.